Hey, what's up guys? We're playing some PAL World. I think today we're just gonna hunt down a bunch of Jetragons, a bunch of Blasmuts, and all of them good things. So, I'm basically just trying to schematic hunt. Yeah. Okay. Did I just see him take 16,000 damage? Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. The dude's about to get shrekt. Give me your schematic. Give me your schematic. I know you have it inside of you somewhere. You ate it. I can smell it. Alright. Another Jetragon. I love it when they just get stuck like this and I can't. This is why I don't play basketball. Okay, that was kind of clean though. Whoa. Please, no fireballs. I don't like fireballs. GG, bro. Divine Dragon Legend. Alright, no extra perks. Feels bad. Alright, making some rockets. Here we go. Alright. Oh, oh, I know that sound. That is a beautiful, beautiful sound. I like you. Come home with me. Oh. My bad about the tree, though. Luckily, this shiny is, like, pretty strong. Where I don't think I'll just, like, outright kill it. Do need to be a little careful, though. Jetragon, can you... Oh, ho, ho. He just Goku'd him. Hey, Jetragon, do you mind not killing this, though? That'd be pretty neat, actually. Alright, a few more shots to the head. Psych. Yeah, Jetragon, no. No, don't do that. Maybe just a little bit, though. Maybe just a little bit. Yeah. Alright. Very nice. Shiny Wix in level 45. Let's go ahead and go inside the cave. Try again for the schematic. Alright. Do it be inside you? No, it do not. But there is coal around here. And there's a little pockets of sulfur, which whenever I try to kill this guy, I always try to grab the sulfur along with me just because I know I need it, right? If I'm in the cave, I might as well. All right. Come over here and die for me, please. That was a terrible toss. 8%? Ow. No way. Hey, oh, we're nasty. All right, nothing good, nothing good. Like usual. More rockets. I like rockets. So, you know what we're doing here, guys? There is something that I heard about that there's a tiny little potion that you can make that resets your stats, right? And if you guys remember in the beginning of the game, I very stupidly put some stats into like work speed and stuff that is essentially completely useless. Well, I'm gonna gather these flowers and I'll, I think I'll be able to make myself a potion to reset them so I could put the stats really where they need to be, which is gonna be pretty cool. Any more, any more? Yay. And I'm pretty sure I need like a hundred of these. So it is not a small amount. I need quite a bit. So if I just travel between the islands one or two times, I should be able to gather the amount of flowers that I need. But yeah, so I think it's these flowers, I think it's some pal fluid, and then something else. You make it at the medicine workbench, and it takes forever. And then when you drink it, it just resets you. It doesn't reset your level, it just takes all the, the point stats that you put in. And just gives them back to you so you can reallocate them. So realistically, I'm going to reallocate them over to health. Probably health. That, I think that's really the important one. But Okay, let's... Look how cool this looks, man. I love this pal. Just going to look so cool. Alright, let's head back to the base, though. Real quick, though. Why don't we do one more... Mutt raid. Give... 
Give me the schematic. I know you have it. Psych. No schematic. Let me go and yoink these points up into myself. Okay, everybody, the potion has been made. Looky, looky, this took, if you didn't notice, a very long time. I sped that up to, like, 4K. Like, 4,000 speed. Okay, health. Let's go ahead and stick a couple into health. And if you look, you can see, like, the day and night cycles. There was a lot of them. Yeah, let's get a lot of health. I think that's the important one, especially for late game. None of the other ones are super important for late game. Now, I do want to put a little bit into weight because as much as, like, most of the time I'm carrying stuff, I'm carrying, like, 30k worth of stuff, it is still good to have a little bit of weight so you can carry things like sulfur back to the base, stuff that you're not exactly farming. So, really, health and weight are the two big ones that we need. Um, I want to do, like, 35, and then, yeah, I think that's probably about right there. So, there we go. All right, flowers, potion, resetty. We've got more HP now than before, and I think we've got just a tiny bit less carrying weight, but it's basically the same with a lot more health. So I think it's a net positive all around. Okay, let's continue what we've been doing. Go ahead and do a few more raids here. My health is very low right now. I'll have to definitely m make sure to let some of that recoup before I start fighting. I'm not particularly scared, but should definitely just be a little bit more careful. And I love this cave. I wish they would get rid of this that single rock right there. If that rock was gone, you could fly throughout the cave with no stops. But that single rock actually, no matter what you do, you kind of just have to stop and get off for a second. Alright, let's hit him with the rockets. Bink. Let's pull out the gun. Hit him with it. Yep, already half dead. We're absolutely nasty with it. Give me the schematic. Give it to me. Oh, I like that move. A little rocket launcher action. Yep. Him and everything else around him is now gone. Alright. Well, sadly, no schematic. So we go again. Another jet. See what we got. Wanna come on with me? Yoink. 
downtrodden, bro. Ugh. I'm downtrodden because I got that. Feels bad, dude. It's okay, though. We need plenty of these to condensate. Con condensate? Condensation? Yeah. We need plenty of these to condensate, so we're fine. Keep collecting them up. It'll just be part of the bucket. Alright. There we go. Another day. Another jet ragon. Hello? Please shoot. Whoopsies. I almost jumped to my death. How about we don't do that? Yoink. Yeah, you're coming on with me, bud. Yeah. You got no say in this. Think? I'm trash. Come on, bro. Beak. Hopefully that's a lesson for you to stay in the ball. Oh, man. This one does not want to come. Although, I can't complain. I have no room to complain because I feel like if we, if we take the average of my catches, they tend I tend to get them in like the first three balls. So I really have no room to complain, so I won't. But, hey yo. See, the second I stop complaining is when I start winning. Like DJ Khaled. You love to see it. All I do is win. Okay, we are at the PAL Genetic Research Tower. And we got Victor and Shadowbeak. And I'm looking to win. I feel like we have some good jet ragons. We have the rocket launcher. We have the assault rifle. I think we have the full capabilities to finally beat this guy now. Now, here's the trick. It's called cheese, right? What you do is you want to gather five of your jet ragons and just <laughs> spam their abilities. So as you can see, you spam, and then you jump off, and you just do it again. And by the time that your first one, by the time you're done, you, the first Jetragon that you used will more than likely be like most of the way back to their ability, which is kind of neat. So you just jump off, you jump back in, and you go again. And then as long as you don't die, it's actually a fairly easy fight. Jetragon's kind of busted, not gonna lie. Alright, so now that we, we're kind of... We're done with all of our abilities, we can just fight on foot for a little while. Throw as many rocket launchers at his face as humanly possible. Yeah, honestly, with these... Look, at this point in the game, the worry is not really death. Because we've got like 5k HP, it's not death. It's actually the timer. Time is our worst enemy, kind of like in real life. It just, this guy has 200,000. That's just a lot of HP, you know? Yeah, you just take it one jet ragon at a time. It should be pretty easy peasy. Hey, don't do that. Low key, though. Actually, not really low key. Can we just, like, give it up, like, one second for Pal World? For actually making, like, pretty cool bosses? I'm just gonna put that out there. Especially like those, in those intro animations are pretty cool. Alright, so we're 140,000. So far we've used about 20 minutes of our time to get 60k damage. So, we realistically should get done around the like 2 minute mark. If we keep following this exact trajectory, we should probably get done around the two minute mark. Which, to be honest, is like still pretty crazy considering we're level 50 with a rocket, with a gun, with four jet or five jet ragons. 
the, the fact that we kind of barely make it is kind of nuts. But it's also cool, you know. They're not easy boss fights. They, they take a little bit of time. I think I've died once or twice to this guy already. Oh, man. What are you guys doing stuck over there? Come out of the corner. Come to the happy zone. Where I can shoot at you. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Well, I don't like to see it, but, you know. It's ability time. It's such juicy damage. Especially, so, when you use that ability against normal creatures, obviously they kind of just, like, fall over. But, oh, oh, oh. but because they fall over, a lot of the rockets tend to miss. What's cool with these bosses is they don't fall over. So every rocket that you shoot out kind of hits. So like, you know, you actually do more damage to the bosses with that ability than normal creatures because you don't miss on bosses. Other than when it hits a random pillar, you know. Love to see that thousand damage. All right, we just passed the halfway. Ooh, that's chilly. Uh, we just managed the halfway point here, and we are about five minutes and thirty seconds. So, yeah, I don't know. Our damage output kind of slowed down there, but we're more than half done, and we have more than half on the clock. So we are on pace to win. But that was not not close. Yeah, something like that. We, no, we are, we, yeah, not, 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 yeah, not, not close. That's the one. The English language is funny. Okay. Just, uh, yeah. Keep standing there for me to shoot. That was my bad. I actually just threw him inside of that move. That was completely on me. He's gonna do the big one. Ooh. Ooh. That hurt. See, I sat over here and said, oh, I don't have to worry about dying, but... I don't know, man. If I get cornered and I get hit with the Goku 6000... I actually might be in a little bit of trouble. Alright, we got some abilities. Little fireball to the face. And on to the next. And reload. Ah. I don't know, man. 58,000 with three minutes. I assumed we would get done around two minutes, but I don't think that's going to be the case. I think it's going to be much closer. Uh, you need to... Oh, that, that pillar's taking so many of the shots. Oh, crap. My shield is gone. Alright, come on. I got three and a half minutes to take care of this guy now. Oh, the Goku 6000. Coming. Ooh, that does a lot of damage. I like that one. Thanks, Chatragon. Alright, 20... 29,000 with two minutes left. Here we go. It's gonna be close. I'm gonna put out a prediction of... I think we'll be... At a minute and 27 seconds. A minute 27... And this guy dies. 
Minute 27. Mark my words. Might have to take those words back because he's not dying very fast right now. Ow. Dude, don't let me die at the end of the fight. No way I die at the end of the fight. Not even at the end, but like the timer's gone, the health is gone. Alright, 8,000. I called 127. I got 10 seconds. No, I don't think I'll make it. Nah, I don't think I'll make 127, but... I'll be pretty, pretty close, pretty close. Go. There we go, a minute ten, so 17 seconds off. Somehow he's still getting pelted. Boss eliminated, there we go. First time beating Victor and Shadow Beak. Yoink. Give me those five technology points. Alright. Look at us go. We're absolutely nasty with it. You love to see it. Okay, guys, but I think I'm going to end off the video here. Thanks for watching.